You ready to go? <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess we can. You want to go closer over there? I guess by like the tree stump. My life has probably changed 180 degrees since the start of the project, just because by doing these projects, I'm reminded of these simple messages that I needed reminders in my own life. My name is Masood Adipur, and I'm the founder of Make DC Smile. Good morning. So I decided to put on my bucket list, hold up a sign that said honk if you love someone at a busy intersection. So I just got a couple of people involved and we started in August of 2012 and we did it for about six months straight, every Monday once a week. And it kind of developed into other projects and we turned it into an overall project called Make DC Smile. It was kind of like a social experiment at first, you know, but at the end of the day it was it turned into more than that. We realized after five minutes a lot of people were waving, they were smiling. You could just see the difference in people's faces. Of course, at first you think it's kind of weird because it's like, all right, what are you doing? You're going in like the busy intersection on a Monday morning. And I decided Monday is the day of the week that no one looks forward to going to the most, you know, and including myself. Every day is like a battle sometimes because we go into work and sometimes we don't have time for the things that we truly love in life. People expect you if you're out here, they think that you're protesting or that you're something that's very like political or negative since we're in DC, but I don't know. It's just something that's very simple that everyone needs. Today my girlfriend joined me for sign holding and she's been there since the start. It was like a week after that I wanted to do sign holding and so I told her hey we're doing the sign holding event where we're just um, showing positive messages to just random strangers. You know of course at first I was like this is crazy like why would we do this but you know it was pretty um, quick to realize that it was um, making a bigger impact than we all realized. It's been great because we've been able to share this special project, not just with ourselves, but then like the entire community and the country and the world. So it's been very special. I think that stepping outside of your comfort zone is a really big drive of uh, the project. And um, that's something that I've definitely learned from Masood. You know, you learn to live a fuller life by doing so. It's just one of those things where sometimes it's hard to get up, but then when you come out here and you actually experience it firsthand, then you realize the difference that you're making. So, I don't know, it's just the small things I think that add up to something a lot bigger in life. So, this is kind of the point of the project, and I don't know, I think there's a, there's a bright future for it. So.